The great Ted Williams once said, a man has to have goals, and that was mine, to have people say, there goes Ted Williams, the greatest hitter who ever lived. Over 15,000 players in the live ball era have accomplished their dreams of a major league debut. None have reached base more often over a career than Williams, nor hit for a higher average. His 406 average in 41 is considered both the most impressive and most recent example of such dominance in the sport. George Brett's quest for the elusive 400 average fell 10 points short nearly a half century ago, and the devastating player strike of 94 ended Tony Gwynn's quest to be the first 400 hitter since Bob Hurricane Hazel of the 1957 Milwaukee Braves. The 1957 Braves had legends up and down the roster, perhaps the greatest player of all time in Henry Aaron, the winningest left-hander ever in Warren Spahn, along with Hall of Famers Eddie Matthews and Red Shane Deanst. In late July, with the Braves fighting for the top spot in the NL with the Cardinals, the talented outfielder Bill Bruton injured his knee, necessitating a corresponding recall from AAA. Though others at AAA Wichita had performed better than Hazel, Hazel was thought to be the streakiest, capable of falling flat, but more importantly of catching lightning in a bottle in the big leagues, despite having just six major league games under his belt. The Braves boldly recalled Hazel, a move that immediately paid dividends, just a month into his major league stint, and Hazel was hitting a remarkable 507, while perhaps more impressively leading the team to gain seven games on the Cardinals during the stretch. In late August, Shane Deans called Hazel, Stan Musial, Mickey Mantle, and Ted Williams all wrapped in one. Hazel's run continued into September, finishing the year with an incredible 403 batting average while helping bring the first ever pennant to Milwaukee. After the 57 season, though, Hazel wound up appearing in just 63 more games and was out of the majors for good by the end of the 58 season. And though he made just 155 plate appearances in 57, well short of qualifying for the batting title, not a single player since Hazel has reached the hallowed 400 mark in as many plate appearances. Hazel's career numbers seem rather unremarkable, amassing not even a full season's worth of work over his entire big league career. But in spite of this, the Brewers, along with the Milwaukee Braves Historical Association, recently honored Hazel with a plaque on the Wall of Honor outside American Family Field in Milwaukee. Ted Williams may have accomplished his goal of being the greatest hitter to walk the earth, but for two months in 1957, the Milwaukee Braves' Bob Hurricane Hazel became the greatest hitter who ever lived.